Hi, Sheree. You know, today we really got an idea of why this trial could last up to two months. There are eight victims, four crime scenes, and today centered around just one of those scenes. I noticed that there were uh, blood stains on the door itself. Blood spatter, ballistic evidence. That's a bullet hole. And shoe prints. In this area of the shoe, I'm not seeing any kind of wear pattern at all. The focus of today's testimony in George Wagner IV's murder trial. On the stand the entire day, Shane Hanshaw, a crime scene investigator with the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation. It was cloudy um, and the, the temperature was uh, about 72 degrees when I arrived. Henshaw took jurors back to April 22, 2016, when he arrived at one of the four crime scenes, a trailer on Union Hill Road where two of the eight victims were murdered, Christopher Rodin Sr. and Gary Rodin. He showed jurors all of the bullet holes they discovered. Through all of the ballistic evidence found, the projectiles, the bullets, the bullet holes, and all those things, um, I found nothing at all that would indicate that any shots uh, were fired from within the house going out of the house. Road and relatives in the courtroom became emotional when testimony shifted to the victims and the amount of blood found inside the home. You see a large accumulation of blood in this area. In this case, at some point, the individual was, was turned and dragged toward the kitchen. In the kitchen and also the living room, Hanshaw said they found shoe prints. Do you know if other experts were able to form an opinion about the brand and size of the shoe that made that impression? I believe so, yes. And we could not show you that shoe print because the judge in this case ordered the media not to show any photos that included blood. But I do want to point out that testimony becomes important because you may remember during opening statements, prosecutors said they had video evidence of Angela Wagner, George Wagner's mother, going to Walmart and purchasing a certain type of shoe prior to the murders. Reporting live tonight in Waverly, Karen Johnson, WLWT News. Boy, Karen, a lot of evidence presented today, even results, as you were saying, of DNA swabs. Did any of it connect George Wagner, though, to that crime scene? You know, Shuri, it did not. Not today, anyway. Um, uh, Hanshaw, though, will be back on the stand Monday. But I think today was more about him showing how thorough BCI, how thorough BCI was when they were at the crime scene, how they processed the crime scene. It was a lot about the process and what they collected, but nothing today directly connected George Wagner to that scene. All right, Karen Johnson leading the way for us today on the Pike County case. We appreciate it. And remember, you can watch a live stream of the trial every day on our Facebook page and WLWT.com and catch up on whatever you miss with our complete coverage on the homepage of our website.